Hi guys, it's Julian again. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to configure an IoT button. And uh, we were able to send some messages and view them in the IoT console and in MQTTFX. Uh, but we didn't really take any action when, when those uh, uh, messages got sent. So I figured, hey, uh, let's try to find uh, something really useful, you know, something that I really need every day, and solve it thanks to an IoT button. And I figured, can I use an IoT button to get my kids to show up at the dinner table, right? I'm sure if you have kids, that's a, a problem that you have every single evening. So this is what we're going to do, actually. Whenever I press the button, it's going to send a text message to my kids. And depending on the click type, uh, it's going to get increasingly insistent. So first of all, we need to create a rule. Um, so a rule is... Um, uh, basically looking at uh, incoming messages in a topic and depending on the message content it's going to take actions so let's create this so I'm gonna call that rule dinner is ready right and the description okay so um, rules are written in SQL, right? And that's really nice because I guess we all know SQL. So it, you saw in the previous video that uh, one of the uh, one of the variables that is actually sent in the message when I press the button is uh, is a variable called click type. So I'm going to select the click type from messages uh, sent to the topic corresponding to this button. Right, uh, and if you remember the previous video, this is the name of the topic, right? IoT button slash the serial number. So let me just grab this, okay? And so basically, that's my rule, okay? For every single incoming message in this topic, I'm going to select the click type, okay? I'm not interested in the other uh, in the other variables stored in the message, only the click type. Uh, I could have a condition there, but I don't want to use one. I really just want the click type value. Okay, now the good stuff acting on this message. So here, what I want to do is invoke a Lambda function pa passing the message data. And that's going to allow me to send different messages to the kids depending on what the click type is, right? So just invoke the Lambda function configure this okay uh, so I'm gonna select my dinner is ready lambda function that I wrote we're gonna see this in a second I'm gonna add this action and create the rule okay so once again for every single message sent by the button I'm getting the click type and I'm sending that to a lambda function Okay, the rule is created. So now let's move on to the Lambda function. And as you can see, it's a very short function. It's written in Python. And basically what I'm doing here is based on the click type, which is uh, stored in the message that I get. Uh, I'm preparing a text message for the kids, right? In increasing levels of... Uh, uh, ag aggravation, right? So single click is dinner is ready, double click is I said dinner is ready, and long click is you've got five seconds to show up. And they know what that means, trust me. So what am I going to do with this? Um, I'm going to send that to an SNS topic. Okay, so I created an SNS topic uh, with the, the phone numbers of the kids, right? So the, I've got two. Uh, so uh, here are the phone numbers okay and so that uh, notification is basically going to send an SMS message to both of the kids okay so that's what I do here grab an SMS client and publish my message on this topic here okay uh, the subject should be something different than test I guess now it should be dinner right 
Okay, let's just save the function. Right. And the message will be whatever uh, I selected depending on uh, the click type. So uh, we've got everything in place. The button has been configured uh, in the previous video. We have a rule uh, and uh, it's triggering a Lambda function and we have a Lambda function pushing a message to a topic. Okay, so should we try this? Do we have a phone ready? Yes, it should beep. Okay, so let's try a single click. And uh, I'm just going to use my uh, MQTTFX thing to uh, make sure the messages are going through, right? Okay, so just checking my Wi-Fi here. It is okay, ready. So, all right, let's try. Let's go easy and try the single click. Okay, single click. All right, can we see the message? All right, it's probably too small, but hey, that's the first message. Dinner is ready. Okay, so I guess a few minutes later, you know, I'm I'm getting impatient, and now I send a double click. Okay, so double click send. Second SMS. Okay, I said dinner is ready, right? And of course, they're not listening, so I have to use the long click. I can see the long click here. And, and that's the third and last message. You've got five seconds to show up, right? And of course, if that doesn't work, then, you know, I have to use something else than buttons. Okay, but this is beyond the scope of this video, I guess. So uh, here's, a, here's an example of, um, you know, just using uh, a button and a Lambda function all together for, uh, for a good purpose, getting kids to show up for dinner. And as you can see, it, it is really easy. Um, the IoT rule is basically this, just you know, the simplest SQL statement ever. Uh, you just connect that to a Lambda function, make sure you have an SNS topic ready, and you have a 10 line or 12 line Lambda function to actually push the message uh, depending on the click type. So this is how you do it. You know, it worked in five minutes, zero infrastructure. So pretty cool. I hope you liked it and I hope your kids are showing up for dinner. Okay, that's it for today. Have fun with the buttons and the kids. See you.